This breaking news is brought to you by Ang Supremo Vlogs. We find it unfortunate that this representation's referral letter to the Board of Pardons and Parole, Executive Director Reynaldo G. Bayan, dated February 16, 2019, is unwittingly and erroneously and even maliciously being reported as a recommendation letter for the executive clemency for former Calabar Mayor Antonio Sanchez, as written by Inquirer Net. This report is far from the truth, and we find it defamatory in nature. There is no part of this representation's official communication asking for intervention, as texted by Pia Rappler, I said no intervention. The referral letter speaks for itself. On the contrary, this representation left it to the discretion of the Board of Pardons and Parole to evaluate the case of Mr. Sanchez. I was listening to Senator Gordon earlier. His exact words were, ah, so ne refer pala, ne refer lang pala. It has been the standard operating procedure of the Office of the Chief Presidential Legal Counsel to respond to all, and I mean all letters, received by it and refer them to the appropriate department or agency which has the authority to act on the writer's concern. Every day, we receive <clears throat> letters coming from all walks of life. Some of them are requests for finances, for hospitalization, others, so many others from the inmates asking for clemency, asking for pardon, asking for commutation. All of them we respond because the policy of the president is to respond to all letters addressed to the office of the president. In fact, as I've been telling you before, this is the only administration that responds to all letters received by it. No other previous administration does did that or ever do that. That is precisely why I never leave my office until I refer the same to the appropriate agency every day. And sometimes when you go abroad or on an official <clears throat> Activity outside of Malaya, so the letters pile up in my table as right now. So the referral letter of Mrs. Marie Antonelli J. Sanchez, who happened to be the daughter of former Mayor Sanchez to the Board of Pardons and Parole, is just one of the thousands of referrals this office has made to various government instrumentalities. In fact, I have here <clears throat> so many letters with a standard form. All letters addressed to the Bucor have the same content, exactly the same content, with the exception of the name of the letter writer. There are hundreds of them. As I previously said, I have I have no contact with Mayor Sanchez. And I even thought that the letter came from the wife of Mr. Sanchez it can be seen in my instructions to my subordinate. When it apparently came from the daughter. In other words, <clears throat> the news article of a net inquirer <clears throat> and in fact I just texted them <clears throat> and I demanded rectification for that 
because it's reeking with irresponsibility in news reporting by saying that I recommend it. I never recommend it. I just, re in other words, the office just physically act on referring the same to the appropriate agencies. We don't do anything about it. And if they respond to us, we acknowledge the receipt of the response and thank them for taking action on the matter. That, that is the job of this office with respect to all that is received. And when the president <clears throat> asked my opinion on the matter, I immediately told him that as far as Republic Act 10592 is concerned, those who are recidivists, habitual delinquents, and escapists, as well as those convicted with heinous crimes, are not covered by Republic Act 10592 by express provision. And hence, the conclusion is ex-Mayor Sanchez was not covered by 